Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven here. Today, I'm doing a theory video regarding probably one of my least favorite characters in the Minecraft Diaries series, Garte Romave. And I know you may be asking me, Raven, the title of this theory says Shad's Revenge Part 1. What does Garte have to do with Shad? And why would you even suggest that Garte could be a Shadow Knight? I guess all I can say is, allow for me to elaborate. So to start off, in an earlier theory video, I stated how I believed that Shad had unleashed the wrath of the Wyverns on humanity in order to get revenge on Irene and the other Divine Warriors for what had happened to him. Now don't get me wrong, I still believe this to be true. However, I don't believe that unleashing the wrath of the Wyverns was the only way that Shad intended to get revenge on his former friends, most specifically Irene. I believe that Shad's thirst to get revenge on Irene plays into several other events that occurred throughout the course of the series and that Garte, Gareth, Lawrence, and Zane were all involved with Shad's plans. But let's start off with Lord Douchebag of Ocasus, I mean, Lord Garte. According to Gareth in episode 68 of season 1, Garte used to be a kind and well-respected man. However, as stated by Ziana, Garte began to change over time and became immersed in politics. But as stated by the Minecraft Diaries wiki page, and I quote, when Ziana told him of her affair, it snapped him back to reality. However, this did not last for long, for one day, Garte became incredibly ill, and according to doctors, faced a near-death experience, and after that, Garte was a completely different man. He no longer cared for anyone or anything other than power. Now, I've always been incredibly suspicious of this. How could someone have had that dramatic of a personality change so suddenly? You would think that something like that isn't possible, unless it was forced. And no, I'm not talking about Garte's illness. I'm talking about Shad, or as he's better known in the world of Minecraft Diaries, the Shadow Lord. I've always believed that Garte did not survive that near-death experience. Instead, I believe that Garte actually died that day and was resurrected by Shad, resurrected as a Shadow Knight. How else could Garte have had such an instantaneous shift in his personality? Because as he was resurrected as a Shadow Knight, Garte quite literally became a new man. So let me break this down for you guys. It makes sense that Shad would resurrect Garte because he is the lord of a very powerful village. Because how else could Shad hope to conquer practically all of the villages of Ruan, rebuilding the monarchy he lost during the War of the Magi without the village of Ocasus and its lord to do its bidding? Because Shad, even without a physical form, is powerful in his own regard. However, I really don't think that the people in the Minecraft Diaries world, besides obviously the Shadow Knights, would listen to a shady, shadowy figure of darkness and be like, okay, Mr. Shadow Lord, I'll just pledge my allegiance to you. But that's where Garte comes in. As the Lord of Ocasus, he has a lot of influential power. And with that power, Shad is able to use Garte's lordship to his advantage. To put it simply, Garte is one of the many pawns that Shad has on his chestboard of revenge. And yes, that was very cheesy, but it was all I could think of, okay? Leave me alone. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and let me know down in the comments, what do you think of this theory? Do you agree that Garte is a Shadow Knight? Or if you don't, let me know why. And also know that this is the first part in my Shad's Revenge trilogy, is I guess is what I'm calling it for now. So yeah, the next parts will be coming out very soon, so stay tuned for that. And I yeah, that's all I wanted to say, so I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!